Hey everyone. What's going on my dog Bills? D-Money here and I'm showing you my finished Spider-Man Homecoming suit. This suit is by far one of my favorite that I own. I have multiple uh, as you can see from my previous videos if you haven't go check them out and this suit it was really fun to work on and uh, work with uh, as you know I created my own web shooters uh, I don't have the triggers on because well I don't see a point when uh, they're printed on the glove and in one of my other videos the Spider-Man Homecoming uh, suit video I sh I told you all at the end I wanted to do something with the spider and uh, maybe web cartridges on the side and I have done that. So here's the front spider. As you can see it looks a lot better. Before the thorax is really wide and the legs were really close together and I did not like that so well. So I decided to get some craft foam and just make out my own uh, 3D or my uh, well yeah it's it's 3D it pops out of the suit I did layers on the thorax and the head so that way they uh, come out more and I glued them all together so that way uh, they'd be stuck together and have a good mold but uh, I did attach the uh, spider body and the legs with fabric tape I did that so that way just in case if I made a new spider or I need to wash my costume I'd be able to take it off and put it back on really easily and also I said that I would like to do a 3d printed spider but the one that I have already I ended up printing the dimensions out wrong and it's gonna be a while till I'm able to uh, print out my uh, new one but for now I really like the way this looks and uh, if you're wondering how I fixed the thorax problem, I just put red strips on the end of the uh, thorax. So that way, when I'm far away, uh, it's actually pretty tough for me to judge how it looks on camera with these lenses. And I'll get to the mask in a little bit, but it, it looks a lot better. So now for the cartridges, these are also made out of craft foam out of white and red and also attached with uh, fabric tape and these were actually pretty fun to make it took a while to get all six and they were a lot of fun to make I had to use scissors glue pencil and pen to uh, get some shading and some shaping and some little details all correctly I can't quite see if uh, the design comes up or not but I hope I hope you guys can see them well next up is the back spider this was actually really tough to make um, I wasn't able to trace the back spider currently on the suit so I had to print out a template but the only thing is, there was only half of the template, so I just basically flip-flopped it so I could make a whole one. And then this is also cut out with craft foam, and it has some, it has some pen and sharpie uh, details on it. I hope you guys can see this well. I'm not able to see. But this uh, spider is actually attached to the suit using E6000 glue. And um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that uh, on my story, I've posted uh, me in the suit attaching the back spider saying, I can't tell if the uh, uh, E6000 burns or is really cold. But it was definitely an interesting experience where I was stuck in the suit for at least two hours. So next up is the mask. As I uh, said in my other videos, 
or video, uh, I, I puff painted or the uh, lenses so that way they have the shine on the edges of the shutter. You guys can see that. Uh, one problem I do have with the mask is that I can, I can see the red mask from here to here. And that bugs me because I can't see my, I can't see the rest of my body when wearing this mask. And if I bring it really low, I can't see high. Here I feel like is a good mixture. Um, I can see, I can see straight out, but uh, if I look down, I can see my knees and my feet. I have to go like this just to be able to see my web cartridges and that that's as far as I can see in here. Let's get this mask off. Oh man. This suit is uh, made with upgraded Lycra and it's I've heard it's good in the uh, winter because it keeps you cold but also good uh, when you're at con because it'll keep you uh, cooler right now I'm not really feeling that so now I'm gonna talk about the soles on the shoes I was able to get a design on them I used duct tape that, that's all just duct tape and a picture off Instagram on what the shoe actually looked like. Here's another look at the bottom of the shoe or sole. This is just flat. I don't have a kung fu shoe in here. That wasn't an option yet on the uh, website, but I think they're working on getting that. But yeah, the duct tape. Um, it it hasn't tried coming off yet, and that's really good. And I haven't had any trouble with it, so I'm gonna keep it like this. Maybe paint it in the future. It's also on the other foot, because this is a completed suit so far that I know of. So you might be wondering this because I wonder this myself about when I'm seeing uh, Spider-Man cosplays, is uh, how well does the EVA foam or the uh, craft foam uh, work with flexibility on the suit and I gotta say for the uh, craft foam that I used it's pretty thin and it works pretty well the uh, I'm able to sit down how I normally am with the cartridges they uh, they don't really bend that much it, when they do I'm able to uh, stretch out and then if they start peeling off, they attach right back on with the same strip of tape. And the uh, front spider, front spider just stays there. Um, nothing really happens with it because since it's on my chest, my chest doesn't fold. And when I stretch back like this, a little bit of the uh, under spider shows, but is completely completely good I am happy with it and then the back spider I'm able to curve I'm able to try and touch my toes and uh, the flexibility on this is very well and because I did use E6000 glue this puppy is never coming off so as I said earlier uh, this is my completed suit as of right now uh, thinking about it right now I uh, there are some things that I would like to add on to this uh, suit. Uh, maybe potentially add web wings with magne magnets or snap-ons. Uh, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that quite yet. And how everything will work out. And also I was thinking about getting new web shooters. Because... I don't really like how the web cartridge uh, doesn't really match these ones 
Plus, I've seen some really cool ones on either the RPC Studio or John Donaldson on Facebook and how uh, theirs look. And I am I like that. Only thing is uh, how much they cost. And I know they're not bad, but it it's still pricey. All right, and now for those who are curious like me, what does this suit look like? with my real web shooters. Now I did design these web shooters to look at least a little similar to uh, my uh, web shooters I had on earlier and also uh, how it, they sort of look on the uh, on the suit itself and I think that they they're pretty good. Uh, the band looks completely fine. I took my gloves off so that way I just in case I didn't want to make a mess but let's see how this does. <laughs> so something else I realized about my uh, actual working web shooters is that I could probably take the cartridge and my prop web shooters take it Slip it under the band to where it's peeking out just a little bit. See how it's there? So now that the button's on the inner part of my arm, I could probably just go like this now. So one thing I was asked about in one of my previous videos with this suit was how would my uh, custom face shell work with this mask and I've never put it under here just because already this mask is really tight uh, not just around the neck but on my face too but uh, I told the person that yeah I'll give it a try next time and that's what I'm going to do right now Alright, here it is. Uh, I'm honestly surprised. I didn't think it'd actually work. Uh, it looks really good. Wow. I might actually have to start wearing the face shell under here now. Only thing is, I still can't see uh, like under these rims. But... Uh, it does seem like I have a little more breathing room. Uh, there's definitely, because of how the face shell is, I definitely have more mouth room. So, I'm sorry I don't remember your name, but this is uh, what my face shell looks like underneath my mask. And I hope this was helpful. Alright guys, one last look of my suit before I end the video. So here it is. I am still wearing the face shell. Here's the back spider coming around back to the front. Here's my shoes, the soles, whip, web shooters. Yeah, I, I really like the look of this. And yeah, also, one thing I forgot to mention. My Captain America shield backpack uh, goes great with this costume. So next time I go to a con, I could bring this, and it'll it'll match since Civil War uh, Spidey took the shield. And yeah, maybe I could like I have a little Ant Man. I could probably stick him up here. So yeah, that'd be cool. Alright everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe and the little bell so that way you get notified the next time I upload. I have some pretty cool videos coming up soon. And make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I post more on Instagram though. And that's where you'll be seeing a lot more of this suit soon. So... Have a great day.